Odell Beckham Jr. is the ultimate 21st century athlete. Great looks, supermodel girlfriend, flashy on the field, and he's a fashion icon in his own right. But his background, nice to start him, might be the most amazing thing about Odell. Here's 10 things that you didn't know about the Brown superstar receiver. Is dating Lauren Wood? Despite being one of the biggest icons in sports, deep in the fashion world, and in the prime of his career, he's actually unavailable, ladies. Sorry. Since early 2019, Odell Beckham Jr. and Lauren Wood have been officially linked together and dating. Lauren Wood has built quite the career for herself as well. She rose to fame with the MTV hit show Wild and Out and has been all over the world as a supermodel. She went full steam ahead from that into a career as an influencer, garnering 1.6 million followers to date of this video. Lolo's biggest focus has been with personal fitness, and she's sponsored by numerous beauty and fashion companies. The couple seems to be going strong, growing even closer together through the tribulations of Odell's recent ACL injury. Grew up with Jarvis Landry. Jarvis Landry is OBJ's counterpart, the other half of the dynamic duo for the Cleveland Browns at Baker Mayfield's disposal. But did you know that their ties go much further back? Like way back, childhood back. Both Juice and Odell are from Louisiana, and when they met, their connection was immediate. Even though they played on separate teams in high school, the newfound best friends made a pact to commit to LSU together and tear up the gridiron. The two did just that, and after great runs in purple and gold, both were drafted in 2014. After a few years on separate teams, the two were reunited in Cleveland. Landry said he actually cried when he heard the news, and Odell called it the biggest blessing in my life. The two have struggled to stay on the field together through a number of individual injuries, but when they are, they form one of the best one-two punches in the NFL. His parents were both great athletes. Odell Beckham Sr. was the top-rated running back in the great football state of Texas coming out of high school, when he chose LSU over nearby universities. But the real star of the Odell's family tree is his mother, Heather Van Norman. Heather was a six-time All-American track phenomenon at LSU. She won three straight outdoor sprinting NCAA titles and added four more combined indoor and outdoor championships in her career. At one point, she held a 147-race win streak. Clearly, Odell got his speed from his mom's side. The craziest part of the OBJ-LSU connection, his mother gave birth to OBJ while still attending LSU. To add to all of that, even though his mother and father divorced, his mother remarried to another amazing athlete, Derek Mills. Mills is a USA 1996 Olympic gold medalist. OBJ was bred to be a 99th percentile athlete, and it's clear to see he hit the genetic lottery. Shaq is his godfather. If you're young or don't follow basketball, one of the greatest big men of all time, Shaquille O'Neal, played his college basketball at LSU. As we can see, Odell's tiger blood runs deep. Odell Sr. and Shaq became best friends when they attended LSU in the early 90s, bonding over their Texas upbringing as they became roommates. When OBJ was born, Sr. named Shaq the godfather, and the two stayed connected even as their years together at LSU distanced. Uncle Shaq, as OBJ knows him, knew that Odell was destined for athletic greatness. When Odell became an LSU Tiger, Shaq was just as excited as his parents were. Could have been a soccer or baseball star. OBJ probably has an argument for the best pure athlete in the world. He started playing soccer at just the age of three, and every chance he gets, he shows off just how spectacular he is at it. The F2 freestylers hooked up with OBJ, where we saw Odell effortlessly bending free kicks into the goal, painting the corners with ease. But OBJ isn't just ludicrous at catching and kicking. He might be one of the most impressive throwers around. He can easily throw a football 70 yards. In a charity softball game, Beckham took the mound and clocked in with a 90 mile an hour fastball. The Rockland Boulders, then defending champions of a minor league, offered Odell a contract as a pitcher, and even added a pitch to him that included the likes of Dion and Bo, two of football's most legendary athletes. Honestly, what can't he do? Biggest Shoe Deal in NFL History even though big-time shoe deals are usually reserved to basketball superstars, Odell's popularity transcends the game. After just his second season, Nike couldn't let OBJ get to their competitors. They offered him the most lucrative shoe deal in NFL history, $25 million over the next five years. By the time the deal is up, OBJ will have pocketed over $50 million from Nike alone. Every Sunday, you see Beckham donning some completely custom cleats, like the dog pound fur. OBJ is one of the few football players in the world that has his own shoe Line, mainly of cleats. With the insane designs and heat on his feet, we think OBJ might have a little bit of creative influence with Nike. Got banned from LSU for two years. LSU football had an incredible 2019 season. They went undefeated, won their first national championship in over a decade in convincing fashion the entire way, and shattered every offensive record known to man. In the midst of it, OBJ was there to cheer them on. 
But sometimes he took it too far, and he and LSU paid the price. Following their blowout national championship win, OBJ was seen on camera multiple times partying hard and slapping stacks of cold, hard cash into LSU players' hands underneath all the confetti. Obviously, a big no-no with the NCAA. While he led the party that night, LSU led the self-imposed punishments for the violations his actions brought. For starters, a two-year ban of Odell from the LSU program. LSU then forfeited eight scholarships a year and finished it off by lessening their official visits count in the next few years. It was the night of their lives, but it came at a price. Even Burrow said he got some of that championship money. Has a custom Rolls Royce. A man with a five-year, $90 million contract has quite the room to splurge. And splurge Odell has. And all you have to do is look at his insane car collection. The crown jewel of his collection? A custom Rolls Royce Cullinan. The dog pound orange whip is customized front to back, top to bottom. Dropping the signature double R hood ornament and replacing it with a one of a kind piece signifying his one of a kind catch, sitting on 26 inch blacked out Forgiato rims, the Rolls fits OBJ's flamboyant personality to a T. DreamWorks Motorsports added in a completely custom speaker and grill made into a subwoofer box. All of that comes up to the price tag of $500,000. It looks just like Odell plays, flashy youngest player ever on the cover of Madden. It's an honor to be on the cover of Madden. It means you're not only an elite player, but also loved by fans all around the nation. Beckham was voted over Rob Gronkowski to be the Madden 16 cover athlete. With that nomination, Odell became the youngest player to ever grace that cover. He had only just finished his rookie season, and his legend-making one-hand grab. That catch grabbed the imagination of the next generation of football fans and gamers. He officially edged out Vince Young, ironically, as the youngest cover athlete. Oh yeah, and the Madden curse doesn't mean anything to OBJ who added to his stellar rookie year with an all-pro year and 1,450 receiving yards. Attended the same high school as the Mannings. Ever since Archie Manning was the New Orleans Saints quarterback, the Manning family has lived in Louisiana. As we know, Odell is from Louisiana. But did you know they attended the same high school? Talk about alumni! Both Peyton and Eli attended the prestigious Isidore Newman High School. Peyton graduated in 94 and Eli in 99. So they basically had elite QB play for a decade straight. Even Cooper Manning went to Newman. OBJ attended the private college prep school in the late 2000s, graduating in 2011. Not that you're surprised, but he was a marvel as a high schooler too. 22 touchdowns as a senior on offense and four interceptions on defense. Before he was an Army All-American or even noticed by Max Preps, the Mannings took notice. At their local camps, Eli couldn't help but watch a young OBJ just dominating in drills and running precise routes. Crazy to think just three years later, he would be throwing passes to him in Giants Blue.